Hello there, Jeff with the Big Shooter's channel. Thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to talk about the sound of silence. Stick around. Sound suppressors. You see them in the movies, there's an assassin that has it. You see them on the news, same thing, negative light. In real life, sound suppressors are very positive. We find them very beneficial in teaching new shooters to shoot. And what happens is, once we use a sound suppressor on a firearm, if they're new to it, then they lose the intimidation factor and all the anxiety that they had due to the noise. The noise is often associated with pain and with recoil, and when we can get rid of the noise, or at least the vast majority of it, then they can focus on the fundamentals. Their breathing control, their sight alignment, their trigger squeeze, and it makes them a better shooter, and it helps them not gain a bad habit that they have to break later on. Another good reason to use a suppressor is range safety. If I need to convey a message, if I need to holler to a fella that's shooting on the range because of an unsafe condition downrange, if I have to scream and holler over his muzzle blast and through his ear protection, he may not hear me right away. When we use a sound suppressor, you can talk in a normal voice and you can communicate. So it only makes sense that safety is a factor. Being kind to your neighbors and the people around you. Uh, that's one thing that uh, shooters don't often think about because they usually shoot at a range where it's expected to make a lot of noise. Today is a perfect example of, of why this is so important. It's white-tailed deer hunting season where we're shooting today and we're not bothering anyone in the woods around us. It would be downright rude to bother the deer hunters, especially on a nice, cold, crisp day like it is today. But we're not making any residual noise whatsoever. Speaking of noise, we're also not bothering our neighbors. And if you own a range or if you shoot at a range, you know how important that is. There's no sense uh, making all kinds of extra noise to bother other people when it isn't necessary. And a lot of people equate us not using sound suppressors. If they're from an area that, that do use sound suppressors, to driving a motor vehicle without a muffler on it because after all, it, it is a muffler. We've switched firearms from the uh, ATI GSG 1911 uh, to the Walther P22, and we're still using the Bowers Paradigm. It's a very nice can, it's small, and it's very light. Now, one of the other benefits of using a sound suppressor is shooting binary targets, uh, or any type of reactive target, steel, a binary explosive. The, the feedback that you get that you can actually hear that doesn't have to go through hearing protection uh, is much more positive, it's much stronger, uh, than it is when you when you do have ears on. Let's see if I can hit a piece of steel 30 yards away and, and maybe you can see too. It's very, very, very loud uh, compared to having hearing protection on. So that's another benefit. Ran out of bullets. Now the safety aspects involved with using a sound suppressor, there aren't many, but there, there's one that's very important. Um, it shouldn't be, because we already stress it so much, but that's eye protection. When, whenever you shoot, you should wear eye protection anyway, and that goes without saying. When you use a sound suppressor, um, it's reinforced that you should really use that eye protection because there's extra pressure in the action, it's overpressurized, and you can actually feel um, carbon and, and uh, whatnot spatter back a little bit. Not so much on a little 22 like this, but once you get into the uh, suppressed rifles and the higher pressure cartridges. The ownership requirements for a suppressor, we've gone over ad nauseum. I mean, we've really tortured that one, so I'm not going to waste your time anymore with that. I'll put a link up uh, somewhere right over here, and that will take you to a series, uh, Sound Suppressors 101, 102, and 103, and hopefully answer any question that you might have. Uh, technical question or legal question regarding sound suppression. Before I sign off, I'd like to tell you about an exciting opportunity that I had. Um, I became part of the Guns, Guts, and Glory Network, and that's part of the full screen family. And they provided us with some nice opportunities and some nice tools on YouTube. If you're a creator uh, of outdoor videos, you might want to look into it. And I'll have a link here at the bottom of the video. If uh, you just like to watch videos that are really high quality outdoor videos, yeah, they brought me on, right? How high quality is that? Um, you can check them out at Guns, Guts, and Glory. They also have a Facebook page. So swing by and check them out whether you like watching videos or whether you make outdoor videos. 
Thanks for joining us today. I appreciate you tuning in. I hope you learned a little bit about some of the positive aspects of the sound suppressors. Make sure you subscribe and tell all your friends about us. If you want some of our cool big shooterist gear, you can find it on the uh, Facebook page at uh, facebook.com slash guntestvids. Until next time, have fun and be safe. I'm going to do some shooting. Thank you.